Hello Libra. Welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Libra, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. You have someone here, Libra, in this reading that we are connecting for you with who is guided by the fear. This is someone, um, I feel this person is quite anxious or it's worrying here or they are unsure if you are truly interested in them. But this is someone who's losing sleep over this situation, Libra. Mutual energy, we have connections and it feels quite strong here, Libra, that this person, you know, it's like I feel that they might be feeling like why, why Libra would be interested in me? I feel this is someone who might feel that, you know, you have many options in love. You might be very popular or you're getting a lot of attention. It doesn't mean that you are interested in any of these, uh, you know, options. But uh, they feel that way because mutual energy, we have connections. And what is interesting here as well, Libra, is that you coming here with the energy of assumption. And I feel that this is like, you might be mirroring each other. What I am getting here that um, you might be assuming that this person also have many options, that they might kind of like to keep their options open. And you might feel that while they are, you know, connected or involved with you on, on romantic level, or it, for some of you, if this person is in touch with you and you are just chatting with this person, you might feel, for instance, or, or assuming here that, uh, this person uh, might also kind of uh, be in touch here with, with many other people. So it feels that both of you feel quite, you know, I guess it's quite similar energy, but, 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 but it's like, I don't feel you are being anxious. That's the main difference. I feel that you are just thinking about the situation and trying to figure out if this person is really kind of focused on you. Whereas this person is, uh, is anxious or kind of, you know, maybe a little bit stressing out if, if you are really interested in them or if there is someone else, okay? Overall energy, we have expectations, which, which, which feels that both of you have expectations regarding this connection. So I'm getting here that both of you like each other. Libra. Let's see. Let's see. Could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards Libra and this connection? Could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards Libra and this connection, please? We have the devil, the three of swords, ace of wands, six of pentacles, show me this person's feelings and energy towards Libra and this connection, six of wands and temperance, so Libra you might be dealing with Capricorn, Sagittarius I have so far in this reading for you. Yeah, the fact that we have this energy in a first position and when it comes to this person kind of side of the reading, I'm getting here that this is someone who uh, is very much guided by the field. This is someone who <sighs> who is anxious, who is worried because what I am getting here that they don't want to have their heart broken you know it's like this this person doesn't want to kind of uh, experience some sort of emotional disappointment with the three of swords you're dealing here with someone who has trust issues especially with the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck they might be asking a lot of questions they might be for instance kind of um it wouldn't surprise me, for instance, Libra, if this person once asks you a certain question and, and then after 
let's say a few days they ask the same question because they were kind of checking or expecting that you would answer in a different way mm? this is someone here who has big tr trust issues they don't trust people they've been hurt emotionally before and it's like they are really really kind of i feel that they are scared of being you know emotionally hurt again or experience some sort of heartbreak with the three of swords but this is ultimately also someone libra who is thinking about you non-stop this person is might be quite jealous um this is someone who's already attached I feel you're dealing here with someone who might have abandonment issues um, but this person might be quite possessive and it all has that it's it's very much rooted this behavior is very much rooted here because um, again this is someone who feels very insecure yeah they might be quite possessive with this energy but this is someone ultimately who's thinking 24 7 about you they really really do ace of wands they're trying to manifest connection with you six of pentacles six of wands and temperance I have 1999, yeah, might be quite important, 1966 as well, 6th of June, 14th of June, 9th of June, 1st of June, 3rd of June. <laughs> um, 15th of June as well. Like a, something might have happened during the month of June regarding this connection or, or june as a as a as a month might be quite significant for this situation uh -huh. but um with the ace of wands yeah this is someone who doesn't want to give up on this i can tell you that this person it's really i feel that they are quite motivated here and they are very ambitious to kind of present themselves in the best positive way ace of one suggests that this person uh, will take action. This is someone who wants to be in touch with you nonstop. With the Six of Pentacles, they want to show that very kind of a nice side of theirs. They want to kind of present themselves to you, Libra, as someone who is understanding, um, who wants, who is ready here to compromise, who wants to give you attention, time, and affection you know this is a card of generosity and kind of sharing that's what i am seeing here with the six of wands this is someone also who wants your attention but they will be giving you lots of attention um but they want success when it comes to this connection you have someone here who's really interested in you libra they they are thinking a lot about you but it's they can be quite intense Mm -hmm. they need to chill if i can say it that way <laughs> with the temperance there is a need for balance this is someone who needs to kind of you know calm down they need to uh, work uh, on kind of that attitude of them being very grounded you know because temperance is all about balance harmony and tranquility you know but this is someone who wants to get that reassurance with the temperance that you that you are you know it's because they might be getting an impression that it's like you have your it's like you're one foot in and one foot out that's what i'm getting that's why they are unsure if you truly kind of interested in them and the thing is that you might be but you have other things to do so you can't contribute 110 percent you know attention on this person because you know you have other things to do like everyone else like all of us but this person i feel can be quite demanding regarding attention and they can be quite intense nevertheless they are very interested in you let's see your energy libra could you please show me libra's energy 
towards this feeling and it, gosh could you please show me Libra's energy towards this person and this connection could you please show me Libra's energy towards this person and this connection could you please show me Libra's energy towards this person and this connection could you show me Libra's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection please We have the Hermit, we have the Chariot, we have a Four of Swords, and we have High Precious. Okay, Seven of Wands as an overall energy for your, for your energy essentially here, Libra. So you might be dealing with, we have Pisces, we have very strong Virgo. We also have a Taurus, Gemini and Cancerian energy with the chariot. You might be Divine Feminine, Libra, or you're dealing with Divine Feminine, but I'm getting very strongly that you might be Divine Feminine indeed. We have a Two of Pentacles. I feel that this person here is giving you an impression that they are not fully focused on this connection. You know, because Two of Pentacles suggests that you might be assuming here that this person is juggling you with 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 this with you and with someone or something else and then we have this queen of wands queen of wands it's a third party and we have energy of assumption when it comes to you so you might be assuming here that this person is not fully you know focused on you and they might be giving you impression of this kind you might have a valid reason to kind of think that way because of that impression that they are giving to you that third party, you know, the thing about that third party represented by the Queen of Wands doesn't have to indicate, you know, another person that might be kind of romantically linked with this person. But it can represent, for instance, that this person is not prioritizing this connection at the time. And you might feel that they are distracted. Um, meaning, for instance, that they are very much kind of directing their focus on their professional life, their friends, family, relatives, um, habits, um, lifestyle. It can be anything, essentially, that third party. But it can also indicate another person. And you might be suspecting here that indeed this person might be juggling you with another individual. Therefore, you might feel that while they are in touch with you, who knows, maybe they are in touch here with someone else. We have a hermit energy. I see you kind of withdrawing your energy at the moment. You might be in a hermit mode because that hermit mode suggests that you're trying to figure out something regarding this whole situation. Then I feel that you are very much kind of focusing here on the fact that you might feel that this person is juggling you with something else and you're trying to get the bottom of it. Maybe you, you know, you you are this 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 kind of person who is um, who needs to sit down and kind of take into account very methodical kind of you know very reasonable and who kind of taking into account all the facts what's been said they they kind of a uh, attitude the way they acted I feel in general you know I'm getting very strongly here with the hermit that you're trying to figure out and you are thinking a lot about the situation chariot and then we have a four of swords i feel that there is this kind of within you libra i feel that you care about them you would like this you would like this connection to kind of to see the progress you know with the chariot but with the four of swords it's like you know it has to come from this person and i feel that as much as uh you would like to come here with some sort of initiative um when you have this idea i feel that you kind of maybe feeling that well maybe i should wait with the four of swords because four of swords is all about kind of taking a step back in order to rethink and reevaluate whole all the situation so um i feel that you are more convinced here that this person should uh should kind of maybe even chase you in a sense they should put more effort in order to kind of reassure you that 
their main focus here with regards to love life it's 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 directed on you and this connection we have a high priestess and a page of pentacles yeah it's like I feel that you are unsure you might feel that you know this person is hiding something and it's all about some sort of communication page of pentacles represent that kind of casual communication you know uh, from like sending you know talking about everything and nothing but you might be suspecting that there is someone else with the high priestess that this person is talking with or being in touch with seven of wands I feel that at the end of the day you're coming here with with a it's like you I feel that you are kind of convinced that this person has to prove it to you that they truly care about you it's their job to to prove it to you that they truly truly care about you and um, and uh, I'm getting very strongly that this is what you're expecting from them and fair enough fair enough if that's how you feel about this that's fine absolutely could you please show me the outcome four of cups you have someone here who's afraid of rejection king of pentacles six of cups okay interesting eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck for some of you it might be someone connected with your work related matters maybe you're working with this person doesn't have to be the case four of cups you're dealing here with someone who ha who has an attitude I'm getting a little bit of a kind of a, you know, someone who can be quite moody. <sighs> yeah. Because a four of cups suggests here that this person is afraid of rejection, your rejection. Whatever happened here between the two of you, maybe you had a falling out. You know, it's like this person at the moment, it's kind of, um, <sighs> feeling that you, here is the thing. I feel that you're mirroring each other. I, I'm getting very strongly is that because they want to kind of show it to you that they are very kind of a, you know, that they want to give attention to you that they, with the six of six of uh pentacles they they want to kind of show you that they you know that they are willing to compromise um it's all about this equal give take but it's like this person is also kind of convinced and they feel that it's like they also kind of feel that you should come with some sort of initiative here to reassure you that um they are that they tr that you are truly interested in them that's the attitude here mutual energy we have a king of pentacles king of pentacles is all about stability i feel that both of you want a stable connection or the situation to gain more stability and on your side we have a six of cups this is like a card of reconciliation uh, coming together talking you know I feel that you are very much open here to kind of uh, this person to come forward and kind of reassure you that you know they are the one that they are very interested in you and there is no one else but it's like they also want to hear that from you because you have someone here who is afraid of rejection they need reassurance six of cups is a you know final card here for your outcome suggests that you know you will reconcile with each other or 
the situation will gain a positive resolution because this is a very positive card which indicates that you know certain issues or problems will be resolved and two people will kind of come together in order to to bring more positivity to the whole situation so at the end of the day you do have very very positive outcome here but it's like this person really wants you to come with this offer of reassurance that you know they that you are interested in them as well because they're afraid of rejection eight of pentacles as an overall energy for this reading suggests that things can work out between the two of you yeah the this whole situation can you know be fixed um and with this energy of kind of you know putting more effort and it might be case that this person needs to put more effort um, or it's like you coming and also kind of reassuring them that you are interested in them and your focus here is purely directed on this connection yeah eight of pentacles here suggests that things can work out between the two of you but six of cups you know there is this indication that uh, at the end of the day you will find here common ground and um, and it feels like things will get better between the two of you. There is a big emphasis here in this reading for a very, very honest conversation and just, 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 you know, having a very sincere and like heart to heart conversation and just listen, how you see this connection, you know, are you in touch with someone else? Oh, what do you want from this connection i feel this is very much needed here for both of the parties to feel reassured that actually um, you know both of you equally are interested in each other and wanting this connection to work out but with the six of cups which is a very positive card you can be reassured here libra that that things indeed uh, will work out between the two of you and I can see that this connection uh, will experience very, very beautiful moments. Libra, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Libra, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time. Take care. Bye.